LACC Cinema and TV How-To Series. Today, we're going to be going over television studio audio, specifically focusing on wireless lavaliers. Now, there's two main components in a wireless lavalier kit. We have the transmitter. This pack is worn by the talent, and it transmits the signal to our receiver. The transmitter has a microphone plugged into it, and you can see that it has a mini plug for the microphone that gets plugged in and then gets screwed on so the talent doesn't accidentally pull this out during production. Wireless lavaliers always need to have power in the transmitter. Pinch both sides to open up the battery case. Just follow the diagram inside, put the negative side on the springs, and while you still have this open, you want to power up by holding the on-off button for just a second. When you power on the transmitter, take a moment to notice two things on the menu here. Number one, the battery life. You should always make sure that you have at least 50% or more of battery life when you start a production. These will drain really fast. Number two, take a moment to look at the channel. Each transmitter is set to a specific channel and the receiver is set to find the frequency on that exact channel. You want to place the wireless transmitter on your talent in an inconspicuous place, such as on their waistband or in their pocket. Wireless lavalier microphones are very directional. So when I place this on my talent, I'm going to clip this on the lapel, no more than eight inches from their mouth, and make sure that when you mic your talent up, you know which direction they're going to be looking. So that if I'm facing this way, my mic isn't gonna pick up the sound as well as it would as if I was facing this way. Once you have your microphone set up on your talent, you would wanna check your mic levels in the control room and stay tuned for part two of the audio series where we learn how to set mic levels and check tone on the audio mixer.